Today we're going to look at using the RAD ribbon bar with Telerix RAD diagrams. RAD diagrams is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will create a new user control that uses the RAD ribbon bar and diagrams inside of Visual Studio 2010. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we have a blank project here. And inside this blank project you can tell that the grid is empty. And the only thing that I have added here is a couple of references to the diagram control, which is found in Telerik.windows.controls, Telerik.windows.controls.diagram, and Telerik.windows.diagrams.core. Let's just begin by creating a new user control and we'll just go add new item and we'll just select Silverlight user control and we're not too concerned about the name so let's just go ahead and hit add. So once we did that uh, we are going to look for certain references. So we look underneath general and let's just take a right click and let's select choose items. Once we select choose items, it takes it just a second to spin up, but we'll see Silverlight component. I know that this is called Rad Ribbon Bar, so I can actually begin filtering the results. So I have a couple of versions of our controls on this machine, but I know that the one that I need to use is actually going to be the second one here. So I'm going to put a check mark in Rad Ribbon Bar, and I'm going to select OK. So once I've done that, I have the RAD ribbon bar added to my toolbox. I'm going to simply drag and drop it to my designer, and you're going to see a couple of things happen for me. So the first thing that happened was my XML namespace was set up for me automatically. And you can see that here under Telerik, which is now mapped to my schemas.telerik.com 2008 XAML presentation. And underneath references here, it's added in a, a couple of more controls. So we've added in the Telerik.windows.controls.ribbon bar. We've also added in Telerik.windows.controls.navigation and Telerik.windows.controls.input. Now that we have those items in place, we're ready to begin using our rad ribbon bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to move this up to the top and I'm going to scroll this over just a little bit to give us a little bit of room to work with. So the first thing that we'll see here is these uh, smart tags. So I can see that I have an application name and I'll just name this diagram and it auto populates for me. And if I scroll this down a little bit you can see that we have a ribbon group and under this I'm just going to simply name this maybe edit and then if I select the ribbon group I can begin to add some items so the first one I'm going to add is a ribbon button so if I select add on that and then I select the button the first one is going to be maybe a copy and once you hit return, it automatically adds in the click event handler for you. So the first one I've added in is copy. I'm going to add another one here. I'm just going to add one that says maybe paste. And then I'll add in one more here that is going to be used for delete. So now that I have those in place, as I said earlier, I can add in my event handlers just by actually clicking on the item and then press and return. And now uh, what I need to do is I actually need to add in a rad diagram. So if you followed along with the previous four parts, uh, you'll know that we already have the code for the rad diagram. So I'm going to expand this window and underneath my rad ribbon bar I'm actually going to paste in some XAML here and if I scroll down I can see that the rad ribbon bar has been added but just for review 
I'm going to actually go over this very briefly. So we have a rad diagram. We've added in a couple of properties here that will not allow you to delete or to copy or to paste. We've also given this control a name of rad diagram one. And then of course we've added in our elements. So we have a couple of rad diagram shapes. We've added in the content here and then we've added in our rad diagram connection. So once that's in place, we can see on our designer that our data is here, our diagrams working properly, but we haven't wired up any of the button event handlers. We know that it created them as we pressed enter as we were going. So I'm just gonna go back to my Silverlight Control 1. So the first button was for copying so if I type in or paste in this code snippet of rad diagram one dot allow copy is set to true, when they hit that button, uh, they will now be able to copy elements. The second button was to allow the user to paste an element. And then the third one here was actually to allow them to delete an element. So now that that's in place, our user control is ready to go. And of course, we could customize any of this and add more items if we wanted to. But for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to show you how you can get started with it. So next, we can go back to our main page. And we'll just go ahead and add in that user control. So I'll top in XML namespace local. for Telerik Rad Diagram. And now we'll just use local. And once we do that, we will see our Silverlight Control 1 user control inside of our main page.xaml. So once our application loads, uh, we can see if we come down here to our Diagram 6 and we try to hit Control C, nothing happens. But if we enable that functionality and we now we hit control C, then our message box pops up asking us, do you want to allow this web application to access your clipboard? We can of course go ahead and select yes here. We can turn on pasting and we can paste that item. And then of course, if we wanted to delete, we could hit the delete button. As always, thank you for watching this series and I hope that you found several of the videos helpful in using the RAD diagram. Please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.